Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. This is Schiedam. That's the city center of Schiedam right over there. Yes. Right the old church building is. Look. I've talked about sanctions today. But faith isn't just about taking actions against the negative. It's also enforcing the positive. And what I mean with the positive is not what New Ages mean with the positive. Just feeling good and looking at things from the other perspective. Enforcing the positive also means that you enforce the promises of God around you. Yes, you heard me well. In the world, you have expectations that people share collect collectively. And they look for agents to enforce these expectations so that they are at ease. That's how the world operates. So in the world, you don't really have much of a choice. You just have to put up with the pressure or else there's violence against you. And a lot of folks just think that's, how, that's just the way it is. People just get along with it. Hold on, hold on. Why are you a believer? Why are you calling the name of Christ if you don't have any trust in his word? Why do you go to church every Sunday to hide, to have relief? Why don't you trample on those corpses and serpents where you are? Look, a lot of people say Christ is coming back very soon. Okay, look, when Christ returns, it's his business. I'm not going to bother with that. It's his business when he returns. For you, believer, you ought to walk by faith now. Those demons should be under your feet now. Too often I hear people who claim to be believers, I'm not even sure if they're believers, they keep talking about Christ returning soon, or, uh, well, we're just passing through this lifetime. They have, they have this going to heaven mentality in which it's all about the later, and now you just have to find a way to put up with everything and see where things end up. Oh, uh, uh, no, no, no. You walk by faith now. You overcome and overrule now. The Heavenly Father wants to be glorified through you now. Okay? Now. Not when Christ returns. Uh, now. When He returns, the evidence of His, of His glory that has worked through the saints throughout the age will be revealed. That's what will happen. And those keep willing in the negative, the wicked, the rep, let me say, the reprobates, men, they'll be, the, they'll be transported to the lake of fire. Transported, they'll be, they'll be deported to the lake of fire, but that's a whole nother subject. You ought to walk by faith now. So learn to agree with Christ so that you can walk in the supernatural power. Learn it. So agree with Christ. Be Christ-centered. Too many of you have your feelings, how you think, or how you like of that. Stop it. Cut it out. You know, you don't have any power. You don't have the resurrection power to, to raise people from the dead. You don't have any of that. Christ does. So agree with Christ. And once you agree with Christ, you, you don't have to be self-occupied anymore. Because you will operate in such a great abundance. Man. And soon you will look at the world and think, Is this a joke? Do people really prefer this diabolical, prefer this diabolical, um, this diabolical ghetto above the abundance of Christ? Look, I'm not into feelings of people, even though feelings are important. I acknowledge that. When it comes to the truth, it's the truth. If something is not in agreement with Christ, it's not in agreement with Christ. I don't care how Christ-like it so sounds. If it's not in agreement with Christ, it's not in agreement with Him. And I want to remind you, and I'm standing still now to speak clearly to you, there are certain things written in the Bible that are not in agreement with Christ. For example, when Satan talked to, to the Most High about Job, Satan said certain stuff about Job that weren't true. There are people in the Bible that are reported in the Bible they did things that, that were not in agreement with Christ. So now, it's written in the document, in the testimony, but it's not Christ-centered. It's not in agreement with Christ. So are you going to pick up something that's not in agreement with Christ and keep holding on to it? No. 
If you read somewhere in the Psalms that the children of Israel were complaining that their days are filled with trouble, that they only have 70 years, and if you have strength, 80 years. Well, you read that. But then you also read, read that Moses became 120 years old in the strength of his youth. Hold on a minute. So Moses had led those people, became 120, and those people were complaining they were only 70, maybe if they have a lock, 80. So hold on a minute. Both cannot be true. Moses was in line with Christ. So you follow what is in line with Christ, right? But then you have religion picking up pieces that are not in line with Christ, forming a whole doctrine around it, speaking fear into people. I'm not into that stuff. I'm not into debates. With me, it's straight up. I agree with Christ. That is what I do. That is what saints do. I agree with Christ. Well, that's it for now. You are meant to overcome and overrule and to live now. When? Now. I agree with Christ.